the wonderful world of sports, we bring you Home Run Derby, where each week the leading home run hitters of the major leagues will compete in a home run hitting contest. You'll meet such stars as Duke Schneider, Eddie Matthews, Rocky Colavito, Mickey Mantle, Harmon Killebrew, Jim Lemon, Willie Mays, Jackie Jensen, and many others. Hold on, get out of the way. Get out of the way. God dang it. Tom, Texas. Today we were supposed to be out here playing the Houston Gamblers and raising money for ham, but in our Sandlot spirit we had to get creative. I hope you enjoy the Lone Run Derby. Hey guys, we're taking this seriously. We're following all the social distancing guidelines. But we're also out here to have fun and also find some creative way to raise money for ham. The Health Alliance for Austin Musicians great organization that provides health care and rental support for over 5,300 artists here in Austin, Texas. Because frankly, folks, Austin musicians are the gosh darn best, and they are like native plants are to a local ecosystem. Let's support these folks and give them a big virtual hug by giving them some love. Let's support them. And here's how you can help. If you enjoy the programming you see today, give $10 to Ham, just like you would as a donation at the long time. And if you can, give $50, and we're gonna ship to you the 80, 1980s throwback Playboys hat for 2020 and the long time bandana. And since we are helping musicians, we've got lots of great artists coming up from Spaceflight Records and a whole bunch of our other friends. So sit back and enjoy, let the games begin. All right, I'm number 61. You may know me as Power Bauer, but today I'm the COVID crusher. I'm Howard Carey, number six. I hit and I catch. This is the only place I wear a cup. Hey, I'm Bradley. I'm representing all the Okies out there. These are actually uh, noodling gloves, but I'm wearing them to bat today. Batter up. Oh shit! Ow. God damn. Safe. Next up is Alex Moss of the Black Angels. This song's called A Long Time. 
To bloodthirsty factions fight non-violent war They mean face to face, the soul score They gathered in fields of blood dripping sand They gathered the reasons, unknown to man at the long time At the long time At the long time They ride in together, sticks in their hands they body for love, or body for land The spikes on their shoes, the love on their face See where it's headed, not a good place at the long time At the long time, at the long time At the long time The first day of spring, when they fall again It's the rape of the heroes, a short time Children, watch from afar as women and men both play equal parts at the long time. At the long, long, long time. At the long time. What are they doing? What do they fear? They travel from afar, they come from right here. What lessons are out there? What can we learn from a victory? To a victory earned, we all stand together. Our difference is fade, no class to divide us, no attention to shade. The boss looks a worker, the black man, the white. Our contrast unites us right now, is all right at the long time. At the long It's here in the song, can they change the world? Yeah, at the long time. At the long time. At the long time. Someday old story is a legend you told. No one's magic place that existed at all. Some say it's a myth, some say it ain't there. Some think it's a dream. I've seen this place, I've been there before, yeah, I've seen this place, I've been there before, it's cold, it's cold alone. Shout out from El Paso Diablitos. Can't wait to see you all soon. Take care, be safe. 
next up for your music entertainment, the lovely and always entertaining Erica Winnenstrom with her own music here for you to enjoy. That's pretty good. Hi, my name is Erica Winnerstrom, and I'm from the band Heartless Bastards. Uh, this song is called Extraordinary Love. Uh, it's from an album I did a couple years ago under my name called Sweet Unknown. Yeah. 
Hey y'all, this is Sam Douglas coming to you from the Spaceflight Media Hub. And what we have right now is a scene from No No, a documentary about Doc Ellis, legendary Pittsburgh pirate. This film was directed by a hard narrow, Jeffrey Radice, and edited and co-produced by yours truly. So I hope you enjoy this little snippet of No No, a documentary. D-O-C-K, you minery. <laughs> With the Reds against the Pirates, the Pirates start Doc Ellis. One night, we're playing at the stadium, and he comes in the trainer's room, and I reach for the Vita Oil, and he says, oh, what am I doing here? He said, I'm not going to be out there too long. Cincinnati, to me, had been intimidating Pirates. And we were sitting there, I said, look at them, here they come. I said, just look at them shaking hands. Let's just look at them over there. And they're they going to kick our ass and then talk shit about us. And I reminded him, I said, if you shake hands, I'm gonna hit you. So I thought throwing at my own teammates, hitting them with the ball, get away from them. And they said, oh, he's gone nuts. <laughs> so they stopped talking to him. But that was my thing, trying to let my teammates know that these guys are gonna come in here and kiss your ass and kick your ass and laugh at you. Our players were getting knocked down, getting hit and everything, but the other starting pitchers from our team wasn't doing nothing of retaliation. Doc walked out and stopped their batting practice and said, every one of you come to the plate tomorrow, I'm hitting you. I told the team, uh, it's no need of us having a, uh, a meeting going over to hit us, because it's on. I'm going to do the do today. to Manny, it's no sign to them. Say, yes, you step behind home play, I throw the ball. When the game started, you know, that was Pete Rose. I threw at him a couple times. And so I said, the only thing I can hit on him is his big butt. First batter, Doc hit So I hit him, and he ran down the first base, and he had the ball and flipped it to me. I said, I want to kill him, because he was telling me it don't hurt. <laughs> Second batter, Doc Hitting. Joe Morgan was up next, and Joe told Pete Rose he won't hit me because I'm a brother. And I popped his butt. Third batter, Doc Hitting. It was all about intimidation. The next hitter was Dan Dreesen. By this time, the fans are mumbling. They have no idea what's going on. And after him was Tony Perez, and I couldn't hit Tony. You can't hit anyone if they know you're throwing at them. Threw a Johnny Bench and it took me out, and I was gone. I mean, it was unbelievable. We couldn't, we could not imagine what was going on. Murtaugh, Murtaugh came out angry because he knew that this was not a lapse of control. He knew that Doc was being Doc, and he yanked him out of the game. It was a pretty bizarre and eventful day. There was some, there was a lot of friction up there at that batter's box. And all the way from Austin, Texas, Space Flight Records, recording artist, The Tender Things.
three weeks. Oh. oh, there's very little I like less than running. I had this dream last night that we were all trapped inside a, a giant marshmallow like spores, all humanity. It was just a spore, but the marshmallow was the Titanic. And the Titanic was dissolving because it was made of sugar. And we were all slipping into the sea one by one. Dear Muse, the happy hours we have spent together. I love you so much in wet or fine weather. I only wish sometimes you would speak louder but perhaps you will do so when you are prouder. I often think that this will be the next instant. Meanwhile, I am your most obliging confidant. Stevie Smith. some tea out of some plants that I've foraged in the yard. I bet it's not going to taste very good. Good afternoon and welcome to the very first Lone Run Derby and Long Time Hayride with your Texas Playboys. So thanks for tuning in and we got a hell of a show for you coming up this afternoon. Um... Who knows what you might find. The list of contributors is long and there's bound to be some surprises. So sit back, tune your mind in, and think about baseball.
just riding around Everybody. so to beat this damn thing mainly because it's surrounded by a lipid membrane but besides that let's enjoy Catherine Legender with a wonderful rendition of yes one two three one two
since I got back, a giant bone quilt. Jank Sinatra, Space Flight Records artist, coming up next with some heat. <laughs>
tuning in i got a record rumble junk and talkie pop coming out on space flight soon all right hey austin texas north cut here with historic schultz garden hope you're enjoying the lone run derby this afternoon it's been a heck of a lot of fun so far want to tell you how much we appreciate your love and support for your Texas Playboys and our community as a whole. As you all know, the more that we continue to support and love and strengthen one another, the more powerful and more creative and better off we're going to be on the other side of this thing. Until then, you be smart, stay safe, take care of your neighbor. Come see me at SchultzGarden.com for all your grocery needs and be cool with pepper. Catch it! Leuven's up next. Another Space Flight Records jam. Yeah!
<laughs> Hi. Let's enjoy the next artist, the Sideshow Tragedy, another wonderful artist from Space Flight Records. Dig it. There's nothing you can do It's got nothing to do with you You honestly can't keep up this fight Doesn't matter if it's right You're staying in tonight Now that summer's here You're giving it a rest You did your best But you always second-guessed Next up, Carson McCone. Sweet despair and hope renewed Say it ain't for 
profound baby I can't just hold you when I want you This photograph of me, my eyes, it's clear to see the way I'm smiling. What's in my mind? So I can't keep it locked away. Let the pen oblige the page. Won't you write me? Hi you guys, I'm Ben Queller, number 16 on the Texas Playboys. It's actually my rookie season and we haven't even been able to play one game yet. So uh, I actually haven't played a game with my team, the Playboys, but i um, very much looking forward to getting out on that field. Um, right now I'm uh, just pretty much sitting at home like most of you, um, but I was thinking about a song that I wrote uh, many years ago when I was living in New York City um, because it turns out that when I first moved there and didn't really have many friends I was actually sheltering in place and I didn't know it but I was and uh, I had my girlfriend and my cat and my apartment and that was really my three favorite things um, and I wrote this song and uh, so it's very much a quarantine and chill kind of song. And um, it's called My Apartment. So happy quarantining. I hope you're all staying sane. Uh, much love to you guys.
protected from pain. When I'm in my apartment.